Hey folks inside the camera, how you doing? Thank you very much for checking out my video, thank you very much for checking out my channel. Welcome back to Colo Craft, or if this is your first time here, welcome, thank you very much. Good to see you. Um, today I am carrying on trying to learn new things, so uh, in my last video I cooked up something called summer bannock bread, in this video I'm going to cook up something called nettle soup, which you should be able to tell from the, the name there what, what it is. So yeah, it's a, it's, it looks like a really simple recipe. Again, it's in my Ray Mears Out on the Land book. Um, seems to be something that uh, bushcrafters eat quite a lot and should be able to do. It's something that I've never never had before, never tried before, never made before. So, um, so again, this will be uh, an entirely new experience and hopefully I don't muck it up and poison myself. So I uh, hope you enjoy it. Should be good fun. Let's have a go. By the way, yes, I know I'm wearing the same clothes as I was wearing in the same in the previous two videos. As I said before on the last one, it's because I'm shooting three videos on the same day. It's not because I smell or are unclean or unhygienic in any way. All right? Good. Just make sure that's clear. <laughs> the recipe for nettle soup is actually quite simple. Uh, we need four cups or one liter of nettle tops, um, which of course I don't have in my bag. They are around the place, so we'll go and collect those in a minute. Uh, we need butter or cooking oil, so let's have a look. So I've got a few little ingredients in my little pot here. So I've got some butter, I, um, I don't have any oil I don't think, I might have actually for the other video that I'm making, um, but I've got some butter anyway. Uh, enough plain flour uh, to make a roux, which we're going to use the butter for as well, which I can steal from the other video that I'm making. I brought flour to make the summer bannock bread, which hopefully you watched a couple of videos ago. Um, if you didn't, go check it out. <laughs> so I'm going to steal a little bit of that flour. I need a litre of stock, which I have here. Uh, if you're wondering why this has cling film on the top, it's because the actual lid to this I broke last time I was out. Uh, it's quite a cheap one and it just snapped and disintegrated, so um, it's just got some cling film on there. But I've got a litre of stock. Um, I've got a potato. Uh, an onion to add in, which I'm going to chop up and um, to uh, add some more flavour to the soup later on. And I've got some salt and pepper. So, again, similar to all the other cooking videos that I have done, uh, the amount of ingredients seems relatively small. For this, all I need is nettles, butter, a bit of flour, um, stock, potato, and some salt and pepper to taste. So, as I say, nice simple recipe. But before we start doing any of that, um, a, I need to get a fire going, so obviously I'm going to need to cook things because I'm going to I'm going to need water as well. There's an ingredient for this in case you didn't know that. We need to, some water as well, which I do have uh, here. I've got another bottle just in case I need it. Um, yeah, so I need to collect the nettle tops uh, and I need to start a fire. So I think the first thing I'll do is start a fire and let that die down slightly while I'm collecting the nettle tops. Uh, apparently, the best thing to do if I'm using stinging nettles, which because you can use stinging or or dead nettles. Um, I think I'm probably going to try and find stingy nettles because there's an abundance of them around here. I don't know if there are as many dead nettles. Um, but anyway, stinging nettles, um, the, if they're growing in, in direct sunlight, apparently they tend to be very, very bitter. So it's best when you're making the soup to find ones that are in a shaded area. Uh, and as I need four cups of them or a litre of them, I need quite a lot. So uh, I better crack on. So while the fire gets going, let's go and find our nettles, shall we? Alright guys, I found a nice space, shady spot with loads and loads of nettles, so I'm just going to fill my hat with, uh, with stinging nettles and hopefully that'll be about right. I'm wearing gloves because I don't fancy getting stung all that much, although I do know that if you pick them in the right way, you don't get stung, but, you know, what's the point in taking a risk when you don't have to? That's covered in bird poop, maybe avoid that one. Okay, got a pretty big hat full, so hopefully that's enough. Okay, gorgeous, beautiful people, nettle soup. So I have collected my nettles, I have a hat full there. Um, I've got my ingredients in here. So I've got some butter. Uh, I have some salt and pepper for tasting. I have a potato and I've got an onion. So the first thing that I need to do, now that I've covered up the recipe, well done mate, 
First thing I need to do is drop the metal tops into two cups or 500 mils of boiling water and simmer for five to 10 minutes, uh, which will neutralize any stings. Okay, so I need to get some water boiling. So I've got my uh, TBS billy can with me, or the Bushcraft Store uh, billy can with me, which I believe just so happens to hold 500 mils. Rock and roll. So let's get this full up with water and we'll get it on the fire to start boiling and then we can add our nettles in. Bang in. Let's just put it there. Keep an eye on her, make sure she doesn't boil over. Right, what's next? While I'm waiting for the water to boil, I might as well start prepping some of my other ingredients. Let's get the hat full of nettles out of the way. Um, we can chop up the onion and the potato. It says confidently, a little bit dodged, but we'll be all right. So we're going to finely chop the onion and fry it until soft in the fat before I add the flour to make the roux, which I haven't explained to you yet, but I will in a minute. So let's just... That's about as good as I'm going to get it. Let's get the onion off my makeshift chopping board and into here. Certainly not finely chopped, but whoever followed the recipe properly. Okay, potato. Potato I don't need for a little while anyway, so let's just double check the water and make sure we're not boiling over. We're starting to get some bubbles. Excellent, so I'm going to call that good and put the nettles in and then get it back on the heat to simmer for five to ten minutes. I think I've probably got too many nettles, but I will just shove them in, who cares. Shove them in and poke them down until there's no sort of room left, it's probably the, probably the way to do it, isn't it? And the rest, well the rest I'll just chuck away. Get in there, get in there. I've got Eric Burrin. I don't know why that's in my head, <clears throat> but it is. Terrorize this. <clears throat> anyway, right, I think that's probably enough on the metal front. So, Let's get them back on the embers to simmer for five to ten minutes. Okay, so what have I done so far? So my nettles are currently simmering. Um, I've chopped up all of my onion. I've chopped up my potato that I'm gonna add later. Uh, I need my chopping board in a minute for when I have to chop up the nettles. Um, so the next thing to do is make a roux and start softening the onion slightly. Now, I haven't done this really before. I'm not entirely even sure what a roux is other than I think it's like oil or, oil or butter, oil or butter and um, flour so it's kind of thickened soups that kind of thing I'm not really sure what the consistency is supposed to be so I'm just making this up as I go along so any of my chef friends that are watching Irishman talking to you I don't know dude don't know what I'm doing leave me alone <laughs> let's just go on with it so I've got some butter that I'm going to add 
into this big pan here. The reason that I'm using putting it in a big pan and not just a frying pan to create the roux uh, is because I'm adding other things to the roux in a minute. Now, I don't know if that makes any difference. Irishman, I don't know. I'm making it up as I go along. <laughs> he loves me, really. Okay, so I'm going to um, heat the butter up so it melts a little bit. Um, I'm just going to put it on the side of the fire so it's not right on the heat because I obviously don't want to burn it and I don't want to lose it all and then I'll pop the onions in um, and then I'll start adding a little bit of flour at a time and mixing it up to make a, to make my roux. And I hope that's right. <clears throat> Onions are in. Leave them in there just for a little bit to soften up. I think they're probably too thick and chunky, but whatever. Okay, I'm going to say the nettles are done. I'm going to take these off. Bring them over here. Now I need to save the water that the nettles are in, uh, but I also need to finally chop the nettles themselves. So I need to take them out of the water, get them on the chopping board, uh, and then chop them up. Water smells alright, eh? Bad. Okay. Put that down carefully so I don't lose it. And let's chop up the nettles. It's supposed to be finely chopped, but <laughs> yeah. Okay, I reckon that'll do. Choppy, choppy, choppy. What's next? What's next? Okay, next, create the roux, we've done that. Add the stock to the roux, mixing it in slowly and thoroughly to prevent forming lumps. Yeah, good, add the reserve now, yeah. Okay, cool, all right. <clears throat> so we're getting the roux and adding the stock. Lovely stuff. You know, I'm just gonna put it all in. Can't play by anyone's rules. Can't play by anybody's rules. Not even my own. Okay, basically now we add everything else in, so nettle tops going in, save nettle water going in, and chopped up potatoes going in, yeah nice, alright, here we go, it says allow the soup, oh. Allow the soup to reduce for 10 to 20 minutes or so. Um, yeah, so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna put this on a little bit more firmly and then maybe cover her over and just uh, let her be for a bit. All right, here we go. <clears throat> See you in 10 to 20 minutes. While I've been waiting for my soup to cook, um, I've just cleared down the camp because uh, this is the last video that I'm shooting today. Um, so I'm going to leave once I've eaten my lunch. 
So I'm pretty hungry, so I'm going to call this done. Uh, so I'm going to get a woo, ash everywhere. I'm going to get a cup full uh, and relax and, uh, and eat my lunch in the sun. So hopefully, fingers crossed, this tastes good. I have no idea. Never had nettle soup. I suppose it's nettle onion and potato soup actually, but whatever. Let's uh, let's get this off and give it a try. Oh. Hey. Rolling around, falling over. Well done, mate. Oh, don't drop it, don't drop it, don't drop it, don't drop it. Nice. Didn't actually bring a cup, so I guess I'll just have to use my TBS can. Whew. That actually smells really good. Sitting down. Almost lost my hat there. What do you think? Like it? I like it. I think it's very cool. Keeps the sun off the back of my head as well as the front of my head. Oh, hot bite. That's not bad. I think it, it's, I mean, I'll be honest, my, I think mine's a little bland. I think it needs a bit more seasoning. I didn't put anywhere near enough salt and pepper in it. I wish I'd save some, put like some more in the amount that I'm eating now. But um, it's not bad, it's not bad at all. The potato's nice, the onion's nice. The, uh, the nettles, uh, the nettles have been fairly tasty. And actually, no, I can't really work out what they taste like. It kind of just tastes like sort of a, a watery sort of vegetable soup. Um, yeah, it's okay. It's all right. I mean, I'm not, don't get me wrong, I'm not blown away by it. It's not the most delicious thing in the world, but easy to make. It's good to forage for stuff as well, which was fun. And um, yeah, maybe next time I would want it a little bit thicker as well. I don't think I quite made the roux right. Needed more more butter and flour, I think, to, uh, to thicken this up. Maybe it needs to reduce down more. I'm, I'm not sure. But um, looks very similar to the picture in the Ray Mears book and uh, as I say isn't isn't unpleasant hmm. oh yeah I forgot I also have my bannock bread that I made um, well earlier today actually but I will uh, have shown you in a previous video so hopefully you guys watch that so I'm gonna put a bit of my bannock bread in my nettle soup Mm. Not a bad combination. Alright. Well, I think that's going to be it for me, guys. Um, all I'm going to do now is sit here and eat the rest of my soup and then um, hike my butt out of here go home so I hope you enjoyed I hope you enjoyed this guys I know that these are these little videos are I guess kind of odd and we're not actually out camping which is what my channel is supposed to be about but I'm sure you guys know what with everything going on at the moment it's kind of difficult to actually do that so these little videos I actually really enjoy doing they're fun learn something new forage for stuff eat new things that I haven't tried before so so I'm enjoying doing them so I hope you enjoy watching them uh, either way, guys, thank you very, very much for, for checking out the video. Um, as always, you know, please feel free to uh, to like, comment, um, share and subscribe and all that wonderful stuff. And I shall, uh, I shall see you in the next video. Next video, actually, thinking about it, uh, I'm planning to do another kind of sort of projecty thing. So like I did with my tomahawk, not, as, no, not quite as in-depth, I don't think, not quite as um, sort of long-winded. Uh, but I've got another, another piece of kit that I plan to... Um, to make and customize so that should be quite fun uh, and after that we're going to be doing other things there'll be more videos like this around like baking and, and 
cooking new things on campfires that I haven't tried before. Um, I want to improve my camp a bit more as well, so I'll probably do some more stuff around um, camp improvements. Um, but yeah, as soon as I can, obviously I'll get out and uh, get out and camp, do a proper trip. But we need things to change for that. Anyway, I'm rambling. Thank you very much, guys. Hope you enjoyed it. Take care.